In the words of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. In a world where emotions often feel like turbulent waves, discovering our anchor becomes essential. Join us as we delve into seven stoic lessons that unlock the secrets to mastering your emotions and navigating life's storms with unwavering resolve. Before we embark on this journey, I kindly ask you to like this video to support the spread of Stoic philosophy. If you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend doing so and hitting the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Together, let's embrace the wisdom of Stoicism and cultivate inner strength amidst life's challenges. Number 1. Understand your sphere of influence. Have you ever found yourself engulfed in life storms, not the tempests of rain and thunder, but the unforeseen trials, disappointments or sudden changes? The Stoic philosophers of ancient Greece and Rome offer an enduring lesson that serves as an anchor in these tempests, the dichotomy of control. Imagine this scenario, you meticulously plan an outdoor event, Yet despite your preparations, rain disrupts your plans. While you cannot command the weather, your response remains within your grasp. You could lament, grow frustrated or adapt by shifting the event indoors or seeing the rain as a refreshing change. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who transcended his origins as a slave to become a renowned thinker, succinctly stated, some things are in our control and others not. This seemingly simple statement holds profound wisdom, emphasizing the transformative power it holds in our lives. We are confronted daily with myriad situations, some within our influence like daily routines, reading choices or social circles, while others lie beyond our reach, global events, the actions of others, the inexorable march of time, and indeed, the whims of weather. The Stoics believed that our well-being does not hinge on external events, but on how we interpret and respond to them. It is not the event itself, but our perception and judgment that shape our emotions. Recall a time when faced with setback, initially daunting, yet with time, revealed as a catalyst for growth or an unexpected opportunity. How do we embody this wisdom? Begin by discerning what falls within your sphere of influence. Act decisively upon those elements. For matters beyond your control, cultivate acceptance and adaptability. By truly internalizing this principle, we liberate ourselves from unnecessary anguish, navigating life with a sense of calm amidst chaos. In a world often tumultuous and unpredictable, the dichotomy of control serves as a guiding beacon. It reminds us to focus our energy where it matters most, embracing serenity and recognizing that, while we cannot control the winds, we possess the ability to adjust our sails. Embrace this clarity. Embrace the serenity and navigate life's storms with mastery, knowing that some things are simply beyond our grasp. Number two, contemplate prior to responding. In today's fast-paced world, where instant reactions are often prized, the art of thoughtful contemplation can seem antiquated, yet it is precisely this act of pausing and reflecting that can serve as our guiding light in a world that thrives on immediate responses. Consider the myriad decisions we face daily, ranging from mundane choices like selecting a meal at a restaurant to life-altering decisions such as choosing a career path. It's not just the magnitude of these choices that hold significance, but rather our approach to them. Let's delve into a common scenario, receiving a message that triggers a strong emotional response. Whether it's a critique from a colleague or a casual remark from a friend, our initial instinct may be defensiveness or anger. However, what if we refrained from diving headlong into these emotional currents? What if we allowed ourselves a moment of detachment, not to suppress our emotions, but to understand them? 
Reflection before reaction is not about passive acquiescence or avoidance. It is an active engagement with our thoughts and feelings, a process of asking probing questions. Why did this remark impact me so profoundly? What underlying beliefs or past experiences are influencing my emotional response? Is my immediate reaction rooted in the present circumstances or past baggage? Moreover, practicing reflection before reaction cultivates empathy. By granting ourselves time to reflect, we also open ourselves to considering the perspectives of others. Perhaps that colleague was under stress or the friend was unaware of the impact of their words. In relationships, this practice can serve as a cornerstone. How many misunderstandings could be averted if we took a moment to reflect before reacting? How many bridges could be constructed instead of burned? In professional settings, the ability to pause and contemplate is invaluable. Leaders who engage in reflection before making decisions are often regarded as thoughtful, measured and wise. Their decisions, rooted in reflection, often withstand the test of time. In a world that seems to move at breakneck speed, the act of contemplation becomes a form of rebellion, a quiet yet powerful declaration that we refuse to be swept away by the tides of immediacy. It is a commitment to our own well-being and to the quality of our interactions with the world. Ultimately, to contemplate before reacting is not merely a practice but a philosophy, a way of life that prioritizes depth over superficiality, understanding over impulsiveness and meaningful connections over fleeting interactions. It is an inward journey with profound outward implications, shaping not just our responses but the very essence of our lives. Number three, reflect on long-term impact. Life presents us with a myriad of moments that challenge our patience, resilience and perspective. From minor inconveniences like a spilled coffee to more substantial hurdles like disagreements with loved ones, each day brings forth a spectrum of emotions. It's easy to become engulfed in the heat of the moment where even the smallest setback can feel monumental. However, amidst this whirlwind of emotions, there exists a powerful question that can shift our perspective and bring about clarity. Will this matter in five years? This seemingly straightforward yet profoundly insightful question acts as a mental time machine, propelling us into the future to look back at the present moment with a different lens. Suddenly, what once seemed like a heated argument or a missed opportunity takes on a new light. Most of the things that consume our thoughts today will become mere footnotes in the grand narrative of our lives. Take a moment to reflect on the challenges and worries you faced five years ago. How many of them still hold weight in your life today? How many have been overshadowed by new experiences, learnings and memories? This realization can be both humbling and liberating, guiding us to prioritize our concerns effectively. It helps us differentiate between short-term setbacks and long-term implications. While a challenging day at work may feel overwhelming in the present moment, in the broader context of a career spanning decades, it's merely a blip on the radar. This perspective fosters resilience in the face of adversity. By reminding ourselves of the bigger picture, we can reduce anxiety and focus on problem solving and adaptation. Moreover, this question encourages us to concentrate on what truly matters. To leave a lasting impact, we must invest in relationships, personal growth and experiences that withstand the test of time. In a world that often prioritizes the immediate, will this matter in five years serves as a guiding beacon towards a life of purpose perspective and peace. By regularly revisiting this question, we navigate life's highs and lows with grace, ensuring that our energy and attention are directed towards what truly counts in the long run. Number four, turning obstacles into opportunities. 
Our world is filled with challenges, from personal setbacks to global upheavals. These obstacles are inherent in the human experience. However, instead of viewing them as burdens, what if we saw them as opportunities in disguise? The Stoics had a profound perspective on adversity. They believed that while we cannot always control the events that happen to us, we can control how we interpret and respond to them. This shift in perspective turns challenges from mere setbacks into valuable lessons. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius beautifully captured this idea with his quote, the impediment to action advances action, what stands in the way becomes the way. This means that every obstacle, every challenge can propel us forward if we choose to see it as an opportunity for growth. Consider a river encountering a boulder in its path. Instead of being blocked, the river finds a way around it by eroding the boulder over time or carving a new path. The boulder, once seen as an obstacle, becomes an agent of change, reshaping the river's course. Similarly, in our lives, challenges can redirect our paths, often leading us to unexpected outcomes. For example, a job loss, though initially devastating, might lead to a new career path, opportunities for skill development, or even the chance to start a venture of one's own. Likewise, a failed relationship can pave the way for personal growth, self-discovery, and deeper connections in the future. This stoic perspective fosters resilience. When we start viewing challenges as opportunities, we become more adaptable and willing to face adversity head-on. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? We start asking, what can I learn from this? How can this experience shape me for the better? Of course, this doesn't mean seeking out challenges or dismissing genuine hardships. It's about recognizing that within every challenge lies potential, a seed of opportunity. By nurturing this seed with a positive perspective, patience and perseverance, we can transform obstacles into stepping stones that lead us toward growth, wisdom and fulfillment. Number five, embrace equanimity. In a world where emotions often run high, the concept of embracing equanimity might appear out of step. However, let's delve into its true essence and the transformative potential it carries. Equanimity is not about suppressing emotions or becoming detached from the world. It's about nurturing a balanced perspective, a serene center amid life storms. Imagine being able to witness events, situations, and even your own emotions without being swept away by them. Recall the last time you watched an intense movie. There were moments of tension, excitement, perhaps even sadness. Yet amidst it all, a part of you recognized it as a story, remaining seated in the theater of your mind. This is the essence of practicing equanimity engaged with life, feeling its spectrum of emotions, yet rooted in calm observation. This approach becomes invaluable in today's era of constant information bombardment. We encounter news updates, notifications and stimuli daily. Reacting passionately to each piece of information would leave us drained. Equanimity offers a buffer, a sustainable way to engage with the world. Equanimity also plays a vital role in interpersonal dynamics. We've all experienced heated conversations and disagreements. In such moments, practicing equanimity can transform a potential argument into a productive exchange. It enables active listening, thoughtful responses, and graceful conflict resolution. The journey of cultivating equanimity begins with self-awareness. Regularly checking in with ourselves, identifying emotional triggers and understanding our patterns create a space between stimulus and response. In that space lies the freedom to choose our reactions consciously, acting with intention rather than impulse. Contrary to the notion of detachment, embracing equanimity enriches life's experiences. By relinquishing excessive attachment to outcomes, 
we immerse ourselves fully in each moment, appreciating its nuances without fear of loss or change. Equanimity serves as a compass, guiding us toward inner peace amid life's diverse landscapes. Embracing this practice not only enhances our own well-being, but also radiates calm and clarity to those around us. Number six, cultivating thankfulness. In the vast spectrum of human emotions, gratitude shines as a radiant thread, weaving moments of joy, contentment and perspective into the fabric of our lives. While it can naturally emerge, the Stoics advocated for the intentional practice of gratitude, transforming it into a daily ritual to ground oneself in the present and cherish life's blessings. Gratitude goes beyond mere expressions of thanks. It's a profound acknowledgement of the myriad forces, moments and individuals that enrich our journey. It's about appreciating the beauty in the ordinary, the lessons within challenges and the fleeting nature of every experience, making each moment all the more precious. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, once remarked, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This encapsulates gratitude's essence rooted in the present, savoring every moment, experience and connection. Consider the simple pleasures often overlooked the warmth of sunlight, the melody of laughter, a shared meal with loved ones, or the breath that sustains us. By pausing to acknowledge and appreciate these moments, we amplify their significance and beauty in our lives. Practicing gratitude serves as a counterbalance to our inclination to focus on lacks, unmet desires, or future uncertainties. Shifting our focus to what we have cultivates contentment, reduces envy or resentment, and enhances overall well-being. Cultivating this practice can be as straightforward as starting or ending each day by listing three things you're grateful for. Over time, this habit transforms your perspective, making you more attuned to life's blessings and more resilient in facing challenges. Moreover, gratitude strengthens relationships. By expressing appreciation for acts of kindness, support or love received, we nurture bonds, foster mutual respect and create a positive cycle of goodwill and affection. In a world that often clamors for more possessions, achievements, desires, gratitude serves as a gentle reminder of the abundance already present in our lives. It invites us to celebrate the present, embrace life with open arms, and journey through existence with a heart overflowing with thanks. Number seven, practice stoic journaling. The practice of journaling has been revered across cultures and ages, not merely as a chronological record of events, but as a profound tool for self-reflection, personal growth and clarity. The Stoics, known for their emphasis on self-awareness and continual improvement, deeply valued this practice. A Stoic journal transcends mere documentation of daily occurrences. It becomes a sacred space for introspection, a platform for inner dialogue and a method for dissecting emotions, decisions and reactions. It's where the external world intersects with our inner thoughts, where events are measured against our core values and beliefs. Imagine concluding each day by not just recounting what transpired, but also reflecting on your responses. What triggered a particular emotional reaction what brought a moment of joy amidst routine tasks? By analyzing our days in this way, we unravel the patterns of our psyche, discern the triggers influencing our moods, clarify our guiding values, and identify the habits shaping our lives. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic emperor and philosopher, exemplified the power of journaling with his renowned work Meditations. His journal was not meant for public consumption, but served as a personal dialogue, a guide to Stoic principles and a tool for navigating life's challenges with wisdom. While we may not hold imperial titles, anyone can benefit from maintaining a Stoic journal. In today's fast-paced world, 
characterized by distractions and information overload, dedicating time for introspection becomes increasingly vital. A daily journaling ritual becomes a grounding force amidst chaos, offering clarity and insight over time. Through consistent introspection, we gain profound insights into recurring stresses, prompting us to address them or shift our perspectives. We discover practices like gratitude or mindfulness that elevate our mood and perspective. The emerging patterns serve as a roadmap for personal growth. Beyond insights, a stoic journal fosters accountability. By committing to daily reflection, we hold ourselves responsible for our reactions and decisions. It becomes challenging to ignore repeated mistakes or dismiss lapses in judgment, motivating us to learn, adapt and evolve. In essence, keeping a stoic journal is akin to having a wise and non-judgmental companion by your side, a friend always ready to listen, reflect and guide. It's a commitment to personal growth, self-understanding and living in harmony with our values and principles. As night falls upon yet another day, we are surrounded by the whispers of timeless wisdom amidst our fast-paced world. How do you intend to embrace these stoic teachings to carve your path forward? We're excited to delve into your reflections and stories. Share your perspectives in the comment section below and let's embark on this voyage of self-discovery together. I trust you found value in the content and I extend my gratitude for your presence. Until we meet again, stay inquisitive, stay rooted and keep pursuing enlightenment.